Yeah, I, I think that was a it was a really good battle today. I knew it would, would be with an opponent like him, and uh, I was proud of my mental resolve to you know be able to save a lot of set points like that in a row and just to stay in the present and be able to focus and commit to what I've been working on and to see that see that come through today is a great feeling. Very good questions, Mike. Hey Jensen, Michael Lewis, Sacramento Big, and congratulations on the win. Um, the second set tiebreak, obviously the match could go either way at that point. You're, you're either set all or 2 0. Well. What were you telling yourself when you had to face all those set points? I think it was five set points or so. Um, how did you sort of stay confident when you kept getting to 8 all, 9 all, and not be able to get that set point for yourself? Yeah, I was, I was a little disappointed with how I played a couple of those points, but I, I told myself I didn't want. I didn't want my emotions to get in the way of, uh, you know, of lo potentially losing a set like that and having uh, momentum switch a little bit and be a little tougher. So, yeah, I just told myself I didn't want my emotions to get in the way of um, just focus and committing to, uh, you know, what I've been training and uh, just staying, staying in the present, staying, staying relaxed and loose. And I, I think I, I think I did that pretty well. Chris, go. Jensen, congrats on your win. Chris Otto with the U.S. Open. Thanks. Um, curious to know how, how you would characterize your season thus far, like, you know, in terms of matching up against what maybe your expectations were before the season started. Where would you say you're at? Yeah, I, I mean, I, I think I'm doing okay. It's been, there's been a lot of streaks. There's definitely been, been some ups and uh, definitely, definitely some downs too. But, uh, but I, I feel like. I've been on the road way more this year than any other year, so I believe uh, my coach and my team and, and parts of my process, we've learned so much on how to handle situations, especially being on the road for us is the biggest, was the biggest challenge. And I think we learned so much from, uh, from this year that we'll implement, implement into next year and feel really confident with that. But, uh, but yeah, right, but right now I'm, I'm, I'm feeling really good. Um, really confident and um, looking to continue that. Okay. All good. Congratulations. Uh, Bill Simons, Inside Tennis. Uh, two quick things. Could you follow up? I mean, what is the art of, you know, being a, a road warrior? What's being the out, what? What is the art? What is the key to being out on the road uh, week after week, far, far from California, far from your home? And also you said you've been working on some things. Could you share? some of what you've been working on recently? <clears throat> yeah, I, I think it, it took us a while of being on the road like that, a lot of different trips, say like nine and a half weeks in Europe and a few other like five, six week trips, things like that, some things we hadn't experienced before. And it's things we realize in, our, in, my, in my game specifically and also some off-court things where, where when I'm, I'm back home in Sacramento and training, we have a lot of it implemented already say like the competitive culture and what things I need to work on in my game and getting the hours on court of drilling or hitting, uh, you know, just specific things we need to work on. And we learned that we need to be able to keep all of these things up on the road and also certain aspects of my mentality. Um, but then for a while, well, a while we hadn't even really realized that, uh, like, that those things would fade so easily being on the road. But I, I think we've had a lot of perspective now uh, to reflect on those trips. Um, after like Cincinnati, we, we, I sat down with my coach and he was telling me some things he had thought. And um, so I, I, feel, I feel good with what we've learned from those mistakes. Michael did. Yeah, so now, Borna was complaining to the chair umpire a lot today. He, he seemed to have a little problem with some things that you were doing or whatever. When you're, when you're playing an opponent and they're sort of frustrated or complaining about, you know, whatever they might be complaining about, do you notice that as far as like, okay, he's really frustrated now, he might be able to take an advantage, or do you not even sort of be aware when your opponent is complaining about things that may or may not even be in your control? I, I notice that, definitely. It gives you, gives you confidence um, to be able to, Try to try and handle those moments better than the other opponents. Uh, you know, just things things that I can focus on on my control, and that's definitely a time if the opponent's frustrated, I can I can see like you know that's the time to stay focused and stay stay on them and try to try to break them down. Uh, whoever that is or whatever situation that is, it's always it's always a good thing to see. Yeah, the conditions. You know, it was a little windy today for sure. Uh, what wasn't the best, but uh, I feel. I've, from my end, I, th I thought I handled it well. You noticed it today, though? Yeah. 
go here and then Chris for a follow-up. Hey Jensen, uh, Kennedy see from Boardroom. I, uh, uh, you're playing Carlos Alcaraz next. Um, I'm curious because you guys have, I think, been close in the draw a few times uh, over the last year, and obviously he's been, you know, a rising star like you. Like, has it been an opponent that you want to play? Have you been eager to play him for the last year? And, and do you have some ga game plan for him, uh, a scouting report, or do you have to develop that tonight? Yeah, my my coach will my coach will go over that with me later. But it's yeah, it's it's definitely someone I've wanted to play, and I'm going to bring him my best. And yeah, it's it's gonna be a it's gonna be a good competitive battle out there. And yeah, it's 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 someone I've wanted to play, so I'm I'm really excited to um, go out there, compete, and uh, you know show what I can do. What kind of atmosphere are you anticipating? Um, I mean, I think it could be, I th I think it could be on Ash, or you know, I mean, I'm not the best of the predictions, but regardless, it's gonna be a, um, I think it's gonna be a great atmosphere, a uh, great crowd, and. You know, you use the use the U.S. crowd on my side and uh, give give them that energy out there. Okay. Chris, Tenson, I was going to expand on the, the Alcaraz talk a bit. I wonder, obviously, you've seen what kind of a season he's had and what kind of a player he is. So, are there any thoughts that you have about how he's been able to be so successful at the age of 19? And all, and the second part of the question would be, how excited are you not just to face him, but to face him here, home soil, at a venue that you've already had some pretty good success at? Yeah, I mean, to the end of the first part, yeah, he's he's had a he's had a very very good great year. Um, you know, he's a he's a great competitor. Um, you know, he's, he's yeah, he's just a great competitor. And um, I mean, I, I kind of forgot the first part of your question already. <laughs> Talk Carlos, but then is it is it even better to face him here because you've had success here dating back for a few years, especially last year, and you're comfortable on the hard courts and in New York. Yeah, I mean those situations with uh, you know, in a slam like this at your at your home crowd for sure it only for sure it'll only give me the advantage I think and I just I just want to be able to use that advantage to as much as as much as I can and I'm 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 feeling I'm feeling very confident heading into this one. Okay, Bill, last question, please. Hey Jensen, if if I could, could I just ask are you still playing piano and can you talk about that? Uh, is it sort of fun to get away and just get in your own world? And finally, if you had to pick a, f a favorite piano piece, whether it's classical or rock, what, where do you go with that? Okay, um, yeah, I, I still, still play piano when I'm at home. I got my, I think I've said it before, but I've got my electric keyboard at home. So I, I, I play when I can at home. I, I actually, uh, in between Cincinnati and here, I had another lesson with my teacher actually. So uh, yeah, I, I enjoy, I just enjoy playing. Um, yeah, and then, I like playing rock or classical. I'd I'd say for the longest time I love I love playing Clocks by Coldplay, or like Down Abbey. I'd say are a couple of my favorites, but there's like some classical ones too. But yeah, it's it's a it's a cool skill I hope to uh, have for the rest of my life.